Welcome to the Delete Cocktail Lounge. We have puzzles. We have Disney. We have farting. Thanks. <laughs> It's another beautiful day here in Kansas City. Welcome aboard. We are about to embark to a place called Union Station. Some kind of Disney exhibit thing and something else. I don't, I honestly don't remember what else. We have so many plans for the next few days. I just like can't even remember all of them, but I had a pretty decent sleep. It started off kind of rocky. I kept waking up not knowing where the heck I was. <laughs> but then I was able to fall back asleep. I actually called JJ because I was like, I am sad and alone and I'm homesick and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I have a tendency to get homesick. It's Thing. But anyway, so I called him and we talked. I'm sorry, I have something in my eye. I'm not trying to be rude. Oh, but yeah, luckily he's up all night. So I talked to him and he was nice. He said that Scrappy and Teeny miss me very much. He said Watson still being a hermit, so we don't really know her status. But it's nice. I ended up getting a decent amount of sleep and then we woke up kind of slowly, hung out a little bit, had some coffee. We watched an episode of Lost, which was me wanting him to see it. And then we watched an episode of Bojack Horseman, which was him wanting me to see it. I did not care for it. No offense, but ew. <laughs> And now uh, we're off. It's like, I don't know, one o'clock or something. It's afternoon, so he's just moving the car so I can like, do my thing. So here we go. Oh, and he gave me this cool little shoulder bag. You can't even, you can't see it. It's a shoulder bag thing so that I can free up my pockets and make room for my vlogging camera and everything. wee -ha! Just pulled my car into his garage. This is the first time I've ever parked this car into a garage. I think I did okay, but that is kind of a tight squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> Union Station, there's a dinosaur. I don't know why there's a dinosaur, but there he is. Why is there a dinosaur? Do they have like dinosaur exhibits and stuff? Sometimes. Sweet. Uh, that might have been the one they had before the Disney 100 came in. Oh, cool. You know, this was the train station in Kansas City. Oh, that's why it's called, that's Union, why it's called Union Station. Station. Right. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like it. Oh my God. It's like ye old post office. I love old buildings. It's like my favorite thing. Oh, and they have an old wagon thing with like sacks of mail. So this must be how they used to have to do the mail. Electric Baggage Wagon. That would be such a cool band name, Electric Baggage Wagon. <laughs> if we, we're doing it, we're gonna jam, we're gonna write like 14 songs, we'll publish a demo. Our band name, yes, our band name is Electric Baggage Wagon. <laughs> wow, this is really cool. It's so big. Yeah. Wow. That is a ceiling. There's Science City over there. Yeah. Sweet. I'm not sure what the D100 exhibit is. Oh, it must be downstairs. Okay. The ghosts of Union Station play better than I do. Okay, so this is crazy. We were upstairs. I made the joke about the, the ghosts playing the piano, but when we walked upstairs, I didn't know anything about this place. Like, he was just like, oh, there's this place called Union Station, and they have this Disney exhibit, and I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. Didn't know what it was. I didn't know anything about this building at all, but we just, like, we were exploring and walked over there, and I just felt something, and I just said, dude, there are ghosts here. Like, I know it. I just know. I feel that there are ghosts here. But then I looked it up on my phone to see, and apparently, yes, Union Station is haunted, allegedly, of course, but there are lots of articles and videos and stuff about Union Station having ghosts, like, specific stories and stuff, and I'm just like, I told you. Like, I felt it, you know? It's so cool. This is, like, seriously cool. 
like this Disney thing. I miss the, the wall sparkles, but maybe we'll see them again. <laughs> but it looks like it's gonna be even cooler. Yeah. I know, this is the, the entry room. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, bark from Walt's dreaming tree. Nestled in the embrace of his family farm, Walt Disney found solace and creativity beneath the graceful branches of what he lovingly called the dreaming tree. Oh my God, that is so cool. Wow, what a piece of thing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is like seriously really cool. We are in the most magical room I have ever been in in my entire life. I want to like. This is admittedly pretty magical. <laughs> the prop storybook from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Yeah, this is amazing. Oh my God, and it's the prop storybook from Sleeping Beauty. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is insane. This is so cool. This is rigged up. So you turn the pages and it reflects up here. Check this out. We're gonna turn back a page. And it turns back and it makes like sound according to what's going on. So we're gonna turn it again. <laughs> and we're gonna turn back to the last page. And they live happily ever after. <laughs> yeah, this is how I want to read all my books from now on. <laughs> Poppins more than I do, and nobody hates Mary Poppins more than JJ, so I will appreciate this without him. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Captain Barboza's costume from Pirates of the Caribbean, and it was actually worn by Jeffrey Rush. Oh my god. Awesome. Where to take it from me? Up on the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. What'd you find? Oh, you're playing a game. I found Look, the treasure. You did, you found the compass. Oh, used by Johnny Depp. Oh, nice. Of course it switched right then. Right then it switched. Come on. <laughs> we were cracking up because we could hear Bella Notte being sung by the, the heavy set Italian man, but then this screen was over here with these women voicing, you know, the things, and it was like, since they were all holding notes out, it looked like they were singing that, and we were really confused, it was funny. We're in the music of Disney area, which is my department. Thank you, Conductor Mickey. Ah, uh, but I have to get a picture with him. Okay, how does this work? Real-time rocket, we're gonna completely destroy my vlog with super copywritten music. Oh, oh! Move my head. <laughs> These are the faces I'm making, by the way. <laughs> Up on the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they swim away. While we devote in our time to float in under the sea. Okay, that was awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. So, um, viewer, uh, what's your name? Zoe. Zoe. This is Zoe, and she recognized. 
I know, I used to watch her growing up when I was a kid. Oh my gosh, that's like so crazy. <laughs> I thought I was like, oh my gosh, I know you from somewhere. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's so that's cool. The, that's I know, right? It seems to be with you that this happens. It does seem to happen. Yeah, this is so crazy. Okay, so I wasn't allowed to film or take pictures inside the room, but we just did an escape room and um, the, the girl, Zoe, who recognized me from YouTube, which is just crazy. We're running through the three rooms that they had and I don't even remember what the first two were. One was like the Da Vinci Code or something and I was just like, oh, that sounds like it could be cool and then there was like a like a weird apartment thing or something and I was like, eh, maybe not. And then she said, and we also have 221B. I'm like, we're done. Yeah. That one. <laughs> and he was just like, yep, do that one. We escaped with how, how much? Uh, under three minutes. Under three minutes. Two minutes, I think it's 57 seconds. Something like that. Yeah, so thank him for his math brain because there was like a, a math thing to do. It was a logic puzzle and it was very simple. I know, but it was still math and <laughs> I'm not good but at math. But it didn't match tread to the, to the footprint, so it didn't really matter. Well, that's okay. That <laughs> We both have our skills, that's why we are team to leave. Hours to find. But anyway, yeah, that was super cool. We got to be Sherlock and Watson, and I wore the Sherlock hat. It was conveniently there on the hat peg for me. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad I had experience with one. I'm glad I did one with JJ so that I knew what the heck I was looking for. <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> Solving cases is hard, man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I was taste testing whiskey to buy JJ a really nice bottle and I don't drink, thank you. I don't I don't drink as you guys know. So I, it came down to like either taking their word for it or sampling it for myself because I know what he likes. You guys see where this is going. <laughs> I feel funny. And I don't like it, but I did it in the name of getting babe a really nice bottle of thing. My elbow feel funny. My elbow feels strange. I think it's Family Guy or American I was going to say, I was like, what the hell Just the way, the way you said I feel funny reminded me of that very specific line from, I Got think it's you. American Dad. How long have you been waiting? Six, seven hour. What are you here for? My elbow feel funny. My elbow feels strange. Yeah, my stomach actually is kind of upset right now. This certifiable human says, I'm not a drummer. I'm not a drummer. I'm not a drummer. I hit things with sticks, it's different. It is not different. It is different. Everybody, fill the comments. <laughs> drummer, right? Yes, you need to be the drummer for us, bro. Well, I can't play bass. Just because I can go do 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 do, like doesn't mean I can play bass. See, look at that. Not a drummer, my behind. <laughs> just, it's just hitting stuff with sticks. I found some keys. There's too many, look at look at how many freaking knobs and dibbles there are on this thing. I am so confused.
puzzle because we've been wanting to puzzle for quite some time. So we got a lovely Lady in the Tramp puzzle keeping with the Disney theme of the day. So we are currently- Tramp I'm such a pretty lady and you're such a tramp. <laughs> That's because I get too hungry for dinner at eight. Oh, Frank Sinatra reference, anybody? I don't know if you got that. I didn't. She gets too hungry for dinner at eight and then it goes on and on. That's why the lady is a tramp. Uh, I should maybe listen to Sinatra at some point. You in my life. definitely should. It's very good. So yeah, we're sorting out all the pieces right now from edges, middles, and then I'm probably gonna go to bed here in about 25 seconds. <laughs> I'm freaking tired, bro. Oof. Like it's good tired. It's like a, I accomplished that. Yeah, we did a lot that way. Yeah, it's it's the whole I'm exhausted. That means I know I did it right thing. Oh, we got the edge pretty quickly, actually. So the edge. The. <laughs> what? Am I in the shot? Oh. <laughs> hey, do you guys want to see how about plants? Oh yes. Oh my God. Hello. <laughs> Does he have a name? No, I. Oh. Mervin. Nope. Oh, are they real? Uh, yeah. And the <gasps> other two died, so oh. I imagine these ones are real. Oh my god. It's also grown quite a bit. It was oh. probably about here. Maybe. Really? I probably honestly need to prune some of these bottom ones. I need. There's a. There's a. Bright golden right haze on the meadow. <laughs> Bright golden haze <laughs> on the meadow. <laughs> Except that the bars are blocking here, which I don't like. Quick look at me with them big old eyes. <laughs> No, this is a romantic scene. We don't, we don't do that. No. Uh, they are clearly fighting over that food. <laughs> I mean, have you ever seen dogs eat food like that, that and be is, nice about it? That is, that is absolutely true. I mean, that's how Scrappy got part of his ear bitten off. Yeah, I believe it. He got two. Double got spaghetti. It. Awesome. Cooper got into the trash, and Scrappy came over to see what was going on, and Cooper was like, "No, this is my, my trash. This is my garbage." And he bit <laughs> Scrappy's ear off. So yeah. <laughs> First do we make it the plate, and then do we make it the spaghetti. That is definitely collar right there. I, I identified it. You're a collar. I know. Welcome to the Delete Cocktail Lounge. We have puzzles. We have Disney. We have farting. Yeah, I was like, that was literally your cue. The music cut out and everything. Yeah, I didn't have one. one. Uh, I'm sorry. Who are you anymore? Spaghetti. Thank you. I love spaghetti. Sorry, I always suck for you. It's because it's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> we made decent progress on this thing. We're calling it a night. Because, ugh. Tired. Ugh. Ugh. Tired. Tired. It's, it's a song. Ugh. Tired. Ugh. Tired. Is it really a song? No, we're, we made it a song. God. Try to keep up. <sighs> okay. Oh, I am so tired. So I'm just going to end this right here and wish you all a pleasant whatever. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to watch out for the sheep as always. Vlog phrase of the day is insert vlog phrase of the day here. I don't know. I'm going to sleep. Okay. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you next time, which will be tomorrow, which will be the Kansas City Zoo and the Royals baseball game. You don't want to miss it. I love it. I appreciate you. Okay, bye.